The rocket-powered fighter Me-163 Comet was the quickest and most daring aircraft of World War II. Despite its record-breaking speed, the fighters were threatened by the flammable motor fuel and Allied fire. The volatile rocket-propellant combination made it difficult for shooters to target slower adversaries accurately. Despite the availability of powerful armament, Luftwaffe pilots were intrigued by the Comet's technological supremacy and eager to fly a rocket even if it meant risking their lives. The Comet's record-breaking speed and unconventional design made it an important aircraft during World War II. When rocket propulsion technologies attracted German aviation businesses in the late 1930s, the Nazi interceptor aircraft idea evolved. Interceptors experienced issues due to high fuel consumption rates, despite their promise. The Reich Air Ministry provided funding for rocket engine research, which resulted in the construction of an 882-pound thrust motor for the Heinkel HE-176 aircraft. T-stuff, 80% hydrogen peroxide, 20% water, trace quantities of phosphate and Z-stuff, a combination of calcium or sodium permanganate with water, drove the engine. Because of the Heinkel HE-176 great speed and military potential, the German Research Institute for Gliding Flights DFS, was tasked with developing another prototype version. The DFS-39, a prototype of the Lippich Delta IV tailless plane, was created as a part of Project X, a top-secret program. The DFS created the wings based on the Lippich's expertise with the Delta wing. Lippich, on the other hand, observed that the wing-mounted rudders generated flutter and problems. The DFS-194, which featured a conventional aircraft stabilizer and was intended to be a conventionally powered flying test pad for future rocket fuel designs, superseded the type. Dr. Lippich sought to leave the institute and join Messerschmitt AG, Aircraft Manufacturing Corporation, for the remainder of the project after communication between Heinkel and the DFS broke down. On 2nd January 1939, Dr. Lippich received authorization from the Reich and arrived to Messerschmitt AG headquarters in Augsburg with the half-completed DFS-194 and renamed it ME-163 Comet. Following successful unpowered test flight, the first official rocket-powered prototype was built and completed by early 1941. Flight testing began in the spring with the Walter RR-1203 engine installed for rocket fuel experiments. Despite the fact that motor unreliability caused mishaps and explosions owing to fuel flammability, the first flights produced good results. The ME-163 achieved a new world record of 623.8 miles per hour on October 2, 1941. Dr. Lippich was commissioned by the Reich Ministry of Aviation to design the Comet ME-163B, an enhanced variant of the ME-163 with a more powerful rocket motor. This was a fully functional Nazi interceptor plane with a 7-minute flying duration. The first prototype was finished in April 1942, but the motor wasn't ready until late autumn. The new Walter 19509A engine produced 3300 pounds of thrust using a volatile fuel combination of T-stuff and C-stuff, a mixture of hydrazine hydrate, ethyl alcohol and water. Unlike the previous ME-163 motor, which used hydrogen peroxides and chemical disintegration, the newer ME-163 motor employs set oxygen for greater thrust efficiency. C and T stuff fuels are both transparent, corrosive and poisonous and have the potential to spontaneously explode on asphalt. The stuff was so potent that it disintegrated fibers and meat when they came into contact with it. Pilots wore specific safety gear and adhered to a rigorous diet in order to reduce natural gas production and avoid explosions and casualties. The remarks from Dr. Lippich were, if you stick your finger in it, you only get the bones out, emphasizing the sensitivity of these compounds. The first rocket-filled ME-163 flight test in 1942 highlighted the risk of the C-stuff and T-stuff propulsion combination. When the engine was started, vacuum zones developed in the liquid, resulting in catastrophic explosions. 
Landing the Comet was problematic with multiple pilots sustaining back injuries as a result of jettison takeoff, wheel and expanding skid failures. Landings were made at high speed and without power, necessitating cautious piloting to avoid toppling on soft terrain. Because of the unpredictable fuel, ME-163 pilots had to become specialists at dead stick landings. The ME-163 Comet in a combat dive allegedly reached 702 mph in 1944, an unofficial record that was beaten three years later by the General Chuck Yeager flying a Bell X-1. The Comet series first saw action in early 1944 during an intercepting mission with B-17 flying fortresses. By August, a complete wing had been dispatched to protect the Reich's premier synthetic fuel factories Luna and Pulitz. The Allied High Command recognized the Comet's key weakness, which resulted in the attack on the Seoul Sea Stop factory producing a fuel shortage and prevented some ME-163 aircraft from flying. The sole supply, according to German test unit leader, was what was left in storage at several airfields and depots. The Comet was too quick to be an accurate bomber, flying 400 miles per hour faster than the planes it was chasing. The pilots of the ME-163 struggled to shoot accurately because they were either out of gun range or too near. Before returning to their base, they would drop down an Allied bomber formation and coordinate hit-and-run strikes. The Allied fighter bombers couldn't keep up with the fast comets, but they were able to track Nazi planes back to their bases and intercept them when they were most vulnerable during landing approaches. The German Air Ministry sought to address Comet's accuracy difficulties by experimenting with several approaches for effective shutdowns. They finally decided on the Sondergaard 500 Jägerfaust, abbreviated Jägerfaust. This airborne anti-bomber recoilless rifle was outfitted with 10 single-shot short-barrel 50mm weapons, 5 on each side of the wings. When a photocell on the plane's top surface sensed a shift in light levels, it activated the guns. Lieutenant Fritz used the weapon system to destroy a Royal Air Force's Avro Lancaster aircraft on April 10, 1945. However, the weapon arrived too late in the battle to make a meaningful influence. Comet pilots scored 16 aerial victories, most of which included 7 B-17 flying fortresses and D Havilland Mosquitoes. In comparison, about 6 to 9 ME-163s were destroyed during battle, primarily by P-51 Mustangs. The Luftwaffe identified the Comet's biggest flaw as its speed, and the slower ME-262 turbojet fighters were more feasible. Because the ME-163B was one of the few German aircraft capable of level flight, Comet combat operations were confined to pursuing Allied reconnaissance planes. All Comet were officially relieved of duty only one month before Germany's surrender in April 1945.